okay so we'll explain about the regular expression so regular expressions is more more powerful okay very very powerful and uh, at least we'll go for a some basic use cases okay so let us go for understanding suppose uh, whenever there is a string is there suppose this is the string i am giving okay so here if you see the string so trinit take country it is something something everything is there okay now what i want to do i want to print only uh, this trinits yeah, only this normal characters ma i don't want to print any special characters okay only something like this let us print this one value okay so let me remove here okay so here i'm going to remove everything and format okay so here this is a simple string writer so what is our requirement i want to replace all characters other than what are other than what a to z 0 to 9 other than a to z 0 to 9 any other character we don't want to keep it i want to remove it okay even though is entering we want to remove it okay so for this purpose we can go for a replace method is there right suppose i want to replace all percentages what you can do how you can do it very simple uh, a dot replace okay so what is the character you want to replace it percentage and what is with what character you want to do it space okay so it will remove how many times it will remove ma? only one time or multiple times sir? let us see okay a is equal to something and let us console dot log of console dot log of a okay so let us see how many times it is going to remove it how many times it is going to remove it only one time if i want to remove all the times then what i have to do i have to go for a regular expression right how will you write your regular expression slash slash uh, in between you will write a percentage you are going to write a g g for global okay so this time it is going to replace all the places or only one place uh, all the places suppose now i want to remove this dollar also tell me how to do this one suppose if i am going to write a dollar uh, and now tell me what is the expected output it is not removing it it will try to look for the exact match exact match percentage should be there after that a dollar should be there only in that case only it will remove in other case it will not remove at all but the our use case is not like that right wherever percentage is there we want to remove it wherever dollar is there we want to remove it okay so that is the reason i will not write like this i am going to write like a another line so the second line i am going to write like a uh, dollar okay uh, suppose i want to write another line also so this is for hash okay something like this let us reload now all the things are there right okay what about dollar i did not store i store it right okay now why dollar is not removing okay so here how many lines we are writing it we are writing multiple lines right okay suppose to solve this problem what we are going to do we are going to learn some grouping okay some grouping okay so this grouping we will write like this bracket we are going to write a bracket and we will mention what are the characters we want to keep it here okay earlier how we are we writing we are writing directly like this okay now we are not going to write like this here inside the bracket, I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to write a brackets, okay? So this brackets is nothing but a grouping, okay? Earlier we are writing whatever the name we are writing, exactly it is looking for that one. Now it is not like that, okay? First thing, what are the characters I want to re remove it? Uh, uh, dollar, okay, percentage, hash, okay? Any character. Let us see what will happen. What happened? Any character automatically, all the characters, wherever it is, they're automatically removed, right? If you want to remove that particular place, and then what you can do it, you can use a brackets, okay? And this is the thing you want to use it. But uh, suppose if user is entering any data, how can you verify that user is going to enter only hash dollar or something like this? You can enter other characters also, right? Plus, minus, star, everything, right? How are you going to write all the code? We cannot write all the codes, right? That is the reason instead of doing like this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like this, okay? I'm going to say A to Z, okay? A minus Z. This means from small A to small Z, any character, no problem, okay? And if I'm going to say what is happening, any character, if it is there, you won't remove with these spaces. Let us see what will happen, okay? 
see all the a to z is removed okay now i want to remove all capital also okay capital a capital z okay capital z now if any capital is there that also will be removed let us go and reload the page again okay so suppose i want to remove all the numbers then i can say 0 to 9 okay we don't need to enter 0 to 100 only number 0 to 9 is there only okay so that is the combination you can uh, prepare so now what will happen it is going to remove all the characters the remaining character is special characters only correct right but we are doing in a reverse way i want to keep them remove all other remaining things but if i am writing like this what is happening all my own characters are removing uh, the remaining characters it is keeping okay to solve this problem we have to use one symbol called uh, this negation symbol okay so now what will happen is let us go and reload it okay so what will happen is apart from these values okay this not symbol what it will do apart from a to z so capital a to z zero to any if any symbol is there you go and remove and with the uh, just a space okay suppose you want to keep that spaces uh, you can give like a this space and now this time you can see all other characters are removed only now this time if you are writing like this uh, if user is entering any special character we can simply remove it right uh, you know you need to write a uh, particular enter dollar hash minus simple a to z zero to nine and put an art symbol apart from this any symbol automatically will be removed okay now you now you understood right uh, how to remove automatically so something like this is called a regular expression we can write it okay this bracket okay so inside the bracket suppose i want to keep only numbers i don't want to keep any other i want to keep only numbers okay all other remaining i want to remove it now what i can do i can say 0 to 9 and uh, this negation symbol so now what will happen all other numbers will be removed only these things will be keeping it okay suppose there is a program they are giving in interview okay so when i have a job in 2011 they are given this program they are given a string like this they want to calculate the only numbers sum they are giving string is there number is there special characters everything is there right they don't want all those things they want to calculate only that numbers sum okay so first if you want to do this one what is the first step you have to do it you remove all other characters apart from number okay so you do that one then what will happen you are going to get a 3 and 96 and 786 if you are calculating now you convert this in into array how to convert into an array using the split and space automatically you will convert it right and whenever you are converting here the problem is there is a more spaces also is there if you want to remove the spaces what is the method trim method okay trim automatically will remove it right so let us try to do like this okay so if you want to solve this problem quickly i can say a dot split method okay and see here and they are saying a item not equal to empty okay apart from empty they want to do it like this okay item dot trim dot okay something i can say trim okay and join so let us see what will happen a dot join after that one so 3786 is there suppose i want to do some do you know how to do it uh, before this one i have to do a map ma, because that is a string i have to write after the map what i have to do i have to write a reduce okay reduce function something like this okay so so i'll i'll do it is like this so now what is our now total a value a value is nothing but a total let total is equal to something let us see okay what is the total value okay let us print the total okay so something like this okay so an in interview they will not ask directly use the regular expression use the string again convert into array and they will never tell directly okay you have to think first okay first step is remove all other uh, characters only keep the thing so you can use a regular expression second i got the regular expression now what is the second step i want to remove all the spaces then what is the method i can use it uh, trim method see trim method after the trim i will keep only the numbers uh, empty spaces all will remove itself okay for this purpose i am using a filter the if there is any empty spaces all this will filter itself okay after that i have to convert it again map why i have to convert it again because i want to convert string into number after that i need to write a 
reduce function something like this okay you can do it so this is nothing but a regular expression sir let us go and identify what is some characters are there okay so here i for what is i for ignore the case suppose if they are writing capital and they are writing small if you want to ignore it then you can go for a i okay let's have a small example here for i uh suppose i want to uh replace okay a dot replace okay okay i want to re replace something like this capital t is there i want to replace with the small t or i want to replace with the capital t so what it is going to answer tell me so all the t will be console dot log of a so all the t will be uh, converting it to capital or will not convert it it will not convert it because it will look for an exact match. So that is the reason it will not do it. Okay. If you want to do it, we have to go for a regular expression T. Here I need to write a I and I need to go for a G. G for global. I for ignore the case. At this time, wherever T is there, always it will convert into capital. Okay. So let us try to see here what is a see always wherever T is there, it is changing to capital case. Okay. That is fine. Suppose you don't want to replace it. You want to replace only first place. Then you can go for only I, not go for G. So it will change only in your first place. So, okay, let us go and change it. It will change only in the first place, wherever. That is no need to be in the first letter. It can be anywhere, but it will only change in the first time only. Okay. So now you have seen this one, right? These three are called modifiers. Okay. These three are called uh, modifiers so what are the modifiers available i i for ignore the case g g for global okay suppose uh, they have multiple lines of uh, thing you want to match all multiple lines then you can go for a m also okay you can write like a here m also same same place here okay m g something like i m g or i g m something you can write it okay so you uh, th that is nothing but this one and second we'll go for this brackets what is this bracket, sir? Everybody understood, right? Any character, what is this meaning ABC? If any character A or B or C, then I want to replace it. That is the meaning, okay? Suppose I want to write like this, uh, A to F. What is this meaning? From A to F, any character in between only, not apart from other characters, only A to F, okay? So in a question, I am giving a question like this, ma. okay? So in the above uh, string, identify if any small letter is there or not identify any small letter is any one small letter now you want to identify it now how will you how, will, how can i identify it i want to make it a true or false not like this i want to make it a true or false then which method we can say is it a, huh? includes will not work for regular expression match a match method will return the uh the list correct right that array it will return uh, okay so that is the reason, like if you want to execute any true or false value, there is a regular expression called test method, okay? So this will return true if our pattern is matching. It will return false if, if our pattern is uh, not matching, okay? So let us see how to use this regular expression and we'll understand, okay? So first, if you want to create a regular expression separately, let reg is equal to something like this. Okay, so here you need to store our into one variable. This is nothing but one variable. Okay, so this is nothing but one variable. And what is the syntax? I am checking it. Uh, not don't check not symbol a to z. This meaning any small letter is there, it will return it true. I don't want to replace. I want to identify. Well, suppose when the you will ask this type of program is uh, there is a username and password is there. Okay, in the password at least one small letter should be there then this case will work. At least one capital letter should be there. This will work. At least one number should be there. This will work, okay? Uh, now let us write it. Now I want to verify it, okay? I will say reg dot test method, okay? So test method, here you can write like a A here. So this is, you can keep any variable name here and that variable name dot test. So this test will return it true, okay? Let res is equal to something and console dot log of us. If any small letter is there in my name, it will return a true. Otherwise, it will return a false. Let us see here. It is returning true. Correct, right? So, suppose I want to give it a reverse case. Ma. Suppose any capital letter is there. Huh? I want to verify. Is there any capital letter in, in this string? No. Now, what is the expected output? Uh, false. Okay. Let us save this one. Uh, 
ಹಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಜಿ ಹಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಐ ಅಲೌನ್ ಓಕೆ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈವೆಂತ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಏಟ್ ಜೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಸೊ ದನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಹೌ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ವನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಚೆಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ a to z if any one thing is there automatically it will return a true so now tell me what is the use of test method if you want to verify some some data is there or not then you can go for a which method a test method not like our search method those thing okay this test method is available in the regular expression object not on the string people will do me this mistake ma they will say a dot test reg x this is absolutely wrong syntax okay so whenever you are writing your syntax first you need to write your regular expression object dot test method okay on the test method you have to pass like a which string you want to test it that is nothing but something like this okay so this is nothing but you have to give like this this is a test method and there is another method called execute method okay execute suppose if it is available i want to get the data if it is not available that is okay something like this i want to do it so i can go for a execute method ex ec okay ex ec so let us go and check it what is the output okay see so whenever we are going to execute output it is returning one array here ma okay because this array uh, how many times we are checking it uh, a to z zero something like this right it is saying uh, t is available at index number 0 okay this is available at index number zero if that is available it will return a array suppose if it is not available ah, i will write a capital a to z capital a to capital z is there any available string no whenever this is not available it will return a null value if it is available it will return a array this is exactly like our match method you remember match method whenever it is available it will return a match so but this method is available in the regular expression not in the string class this exec method is available in where regular expression not in the string class something like this okay so this is the use cases so now we'll go for some small 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 programs okay so there is a uh, question here ma i want to remove all the special characters i want to remove all the special characters so simple can we do it or not yes we can do it okay so let us do it here okay so here comma is there not symbol is there and apostrophe is there i want to remove so what is the thing i can use str dot replace ah uh, first you write a bracket inside the bracket you can say a to z 0 to 9 and the slash is also not required okay and you can say not symbol and what is what what you are going to replace with the empty automatically your output is going to okay, be you are going to remove all other characters suppose you want to keep this space here okay okay so this slashes refers for the spaces ma don't remove that space also think like uh, your space is also special character we are removing it right i don't want to remove my space i want to keep it that is the reason this uh, slash s yes. okay so this slash s yes is for what purpose uh, space purpose like this there are some special characters here ma i'll explain it here okay so this slash s yes, uh, what it is refers a uh, one white space only one space okay and the capital s capital is referring for non white space character non white space means uh, any other space apart from normal space or something like this okay and uh, let's let go for the important character slash w slash w for alpha numeric alpha numeric means what uh, a to z and number okay so here we are writing very big right a to z 0 to 9 everything instead of writing all these things simply i can write like a slash w this slash w means what uh, alpha numeric upper and we are writing not symbol okay we are not writing any not symbol so now what will happen it is going to remove all these characters and keeping the other things if i want to keep these things and remove other thing i have to put a not symbol here okay instead of writing big line if you want to short your things uh, then what what is the symbol you can use it uh, slash w w for numbers plus uh, a to z Now, apart from nothing else okay suppose you want to keep only a to z slash d 
D for digits. Okay. Apart from digits, anything is there. You want to remove it. That is nothing but uh, this one. See, only numbers is removed. Something like this. Okay. Like this, there are some special characters here. Ma. So here, slash D, it is refer for decimal digit. That means 0 to 9. Slash double A, it is refer for the alphanumeric. If there is a new line, you can go for a slash and something like, okay. These are not much important. The only important points are these things. Ma. Slash D, slash W, and slash S. Slash W for any character, any A to Z, and something. Slash D for only number slash as for space, something like this, okay? So you can use these methods. And let us try to solve some simple programs, okay? So here, I want to check if at least one capital is there or not. And I want to return true. Then already we have written it, right? Let us try to do this one, okay? One second, one, one more time. So first we are writing one line. So and I'm writing one regular expression, okay? Instead of writing in separate line, I can write it directly also, no problem. So what is the thing I want to verify it? A to Z and inside the bracket. Any character, if you are writing without the bracket, what will happen? It will think it will look for only A to Z character, okay? Not, not that case. That is the reason we're writing a bracket. So this test method will return what, what it will return true if it is available. False, it is not available, okay? Is there any capital letter in this word? Yes. So what is the answer? We are going to get it here. We are going to get a true. If there is no capital, then we are going to get a false. Okay. So one last use case is uh, suppose sometimes what they will ask is uh, I want to verify at least one number should be there as well as one uh, both should be there, not any one. Number should be there as well as a uh, A to Z also is there. Both should be there. Okay. One number, one string, but it can be more than that, that, that also. That is fine but at least one time should be there, okay? That is the requirement. So here we are going to write like this. This is a little bit complicated. Let me explain it for you guys, okay? So first we are writing like this, right, okay? So what is this line meaning? Uh, this slash is, uh, both slashes are refer for what purpose? Uh, regular expression purpose, okay? Okay, and this not symbol, what, uh, what is this meaning? Apart from this, anything is something like this, okay? That is fine. So let us remove this one. We'll explain it here. So here we are writing these brackets, right? Normal brackets, right? Okay, normal like method bracket, right? This is called grouping. Okay, this is called a grouping. Okay, so the first one is one group. The second one is a another group. Okay, so here, first what we are trying to do, here we are trying to check any A to Z is there or not. Any A to Z is there or not, okay? And, and the second group, again, we are checking like a, any dot decimal is there or not, okay? First one should be there as well as the second one should be there. That is the reason we are looking for something like this, okay? This is the advanced one. So let us verify. Uh, any number is there, yes, right? Uh, any capital Z is there. So that is the reason it is going to return a true. Suppose I want to verify this one. I will remove this one, two, three. Now only A to Z is there. There is no one, two, three, four. Now, because of this condition, it will return a false, okay? It is looking for the capital A to Z as well as the digits also, slash D for what purpose, uh, digits purpose, okay? It will fail here. You understood, right? Suppose if they are writing any special test case, they are saying uh, additionally, they want to have uh, any uh, additional like hash symbol, something like this. You can write another group here and you can write uh, like a question mark equal to and dot, you can write whatever the symbol you want to do it, hash and percentage, something. Now, what is this meaning? In this symbol, number should be there, capital A should be there, and capital A to Z should be there, and the hash or this dollar should be there, okay? Something, any anyone should be there, okay? Then only it will return it true. So it is returning false. Let us write the one, two, three, hash. Now hash is also is there, right? Now tell me what is the expected output we are, we are expecting, okay? Uh, what is the answer here, something? Ah, okay, no, this this one is a star. This is what problem. Okay, okay. So I'm just uh, I'm trying to copy from first first of all uh, line alone, so that we can get the expression right. Okay. So this is simple. First thing, whatever you are writing, this is nothing but one group. Okay. At least one like one should be matching with this group. Okay, and I don't want to write this group. Uh, if you want very, very simple expression, you don't need to write uh, this much groups and all these things. Uh, how can you write it? Uh, you can write a simple open and bracket and you can write this one. 
for simple things whenever they want to do complex like one number should be there one uh, ab should be should be there and hash or any special character should be there then you can use this program okay whenever you you get any such situation you can use this program okay this grouping program okay nobody will remember this even i will not remember this one whenever you required it you are going to read about the regular expression and you are going to write that time and you will test it at that time itself if that is working then you are going to add it to the project that is what will happen in the real time okay nobody will remember what is the pattern for username and password nobody will remember they will try to write it at that time dynamically okay so this is nothing about the regular expressions okay